voice of disruption. Voice of Disruption, I'm Ken Rakowski, and we have a special segment for you, and that is it's a celebration segment. Because you have to go off and look at people who are doing incredible things, audacious things. And today we are meeting, well, part of the team of Yes Theory, which is based in Venice, California. They are celebrating their one millionth plus now subscriber. Amarj joining us. Congratulations first. Thank you, Ken. Thank you for having me. I have never met you before. This is the first meeting, literally, yeah. like 10, 10, <laughs> mi 10 minutes into meeting each other for the first time. This is happening. But I've been watching you for, uh, I would say, the last five months. Wow. Uh, do me a favor. If you had explained Yes Theory to your grandmother, how would it be? And don't do it. Do it in English. All right. <laughs> Good one. I was going to go for that. Everyone. No, uh, Yes Theory is a group of friends. Well, Yes Theory is a movement that me and my friends are trying to promote to more young people around the world. Uh, the movement is about seeking discomfort and chasing things at and chasing things out of your comfort zone yeah. and showing, trying to show the world the value of that through online content. Um, so Yes Theory, uh, the, sort of the media wing of Yes Theory is the YouTube channel that we have right now that just passed a million subscribers. A million subscribers. Yeah. And when you say Yes Theory, do you guys? just ponder these ideas up out of nowhere, or is this something that is in the works for a long time? These concepts, these videos that you do? Uh, it's a mix of both. Some ideas take longer to plan and, and need a lot more work that goes into the logistics of pulling it off, and some ideas is just like, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take a stranger on a trip across the world and I'm gonna find someone today so I can fly tomorrow. That's, that literally happened last week. Uh, in the same way where we asked ourselves what's the best way to, to celebrate a million subscribers, and, and we like, Party ideas came to our heads and all that, but then we realized that, well, we want to celebrate a million subscribers with the people that watch us. So yeah. we just decided on a whim yesterday, fly five people from five different corners of the world to just come to Venice on Monday and celebrate with us. And they came from what, Instagram? They came from Instagram. You so like we, using Instagram, that's your yeah, communication platform. Yeah, yeah, so like we just realized we, we, needed, we needed time to sort of figure out each platform. Uh, and focus on that solely for a bit. So we felt that we got somewhere somewhere good with YouTube and we sort of could see how we can continue getting better. And that's why we started to focus on Instagram. And literally within a month and a half of fo focusing on Instagram, we're able to convert over 120,000 subscribers in just a month, under a month. And you, you actually see the engagement. Yeah, when you yeah, yeah. Because now, now the people that came from YouTube are ones that go follow you on Instagram and those are extremely engaged and wanna, want that extra layer of, of, of communication that they get. Uh, okay. over YouTube so so but you use them in part of the content that you drive there's been one where you literally use suggestion recommendations from Instagrammers to tell you what to do exactly yeah but how do you create content real time doing that that's going to be published maybe two or three weeks later uh, so basically the the real the real time part is only shown to the people that go that tune in on the Instagram live okay so if you're tuning if this is a challenge and you're tuning in right now on Instagram it would be sort of a question should a mom go out in the neighborhood and do a naked mile or should Ken do that and then people pick so people only the people on live are able to see the outcome but but when you make the piece of content at the end it's you're seeing it from like a third party view almost it's seeing it as you know you're watching people control someone makes sense but it should be whoever could run the fastest mile would be best right because both oh. of us don't want to do that uh, yeah okay Fair. So, not in this neighborhood no, no a lot of hills yeah, it's yeah. A lot of hills. Uh, you are all from somewhere different yes um, Canada, Egypt, Actually, none Turkey? Are, the biggest misconception is one of us is Canadian. None of us are Canadian. Uh, one of you is Canadian? No, not oh, even. Oh, I miss, but you all hung out, you met. But we all met in Canada, so we all sort of ended up in Canada for different reasons. Uh, three of us ended up there for school. One of us ended up there to write a movie with a friend. Uh, the one that ended up writing, uh, what, that was going to write the movie with a friend is the one that has a permanent residency in Canada, but he's Turkish. Okay. That's where the confusion happens. But I'm Egyptian, Thomas is Swedish-French, and Matt is French-American. And we, they both went to McGill University in Montreal, Canada, and I was there raising money for my tech startup over one summer uh, before I had to go back to school in, in the fall. And then I met the guys, and then within two days, my life plans changed. And didn't go back to school, sort of decided to put my startup on hold and just commit to working with these guys to build what we are celebrating today. Why Venice? Um, there's a lot of... It's, it's very, we didn't really know why we were coming to Venice when we came, apart from the fact that Snapchat said, if you, if you, if you moved here, we'll be able to sort of sponsor your content and, and pay you to produce the content that you already enjoy producing, where we'll be able to post in our platform and, and, we'll, and we'll then able to post in our YouTube channel. So 
when we first moved to Venice, there was no expectation for what we're going to find. We just knew it was going to be good weather and near the beach, and that was about it. But coming here, you end up realizing that Venice has been a hub for people who are coming with very good intentions and, and coming from a place of, of love and truth. And they're working on all these different projects in different domains, but everybody is willing to connect and sort of meet and share knowledge. And that's been the most fascinating part about Venice and the, and the network that we've built there. So uh, I got to touch upon some of the things that I thought were transformed uh, transformable in the aspect of you got to sit down with Trudeau yeah and uh, really kind of have a, an opportunity to get to know someone like him how do you take your yes theory these guys sitting in Venice or just the and actually get to meet world leaders um. Because I think the way we see it, it's not just, uh, we, we don't see Yes Theory as the group as just like the content creators. It's more of like the humans that are just sort of driving the creation of this content. It's at the end of the day, the, we used to be four and now we're th three on the channel, but you know, all the minds are very curious minds that want to know more about, about life and about the people around us and through Trudeau. the stories that How'd we- How'd you get there? We literally just asked his chief of staff, can we meet Trudeau to ask him about what it means to, to him to be a man in the modern world. And because that was something that was, was inter very interesting to us, we felt the responsibility to convey that message to our male audience. We're about 85% 85, 85 male. Uh, so definitely we're talking to more dudes than, than girls. And, it, and it, it just felt right to, to bring someone who is such a role model and someone who's been a champion of positive change in the world during that period where Trumps are rising and all that mm -hmm. coming, coming about. So it was just very important for us to be able to use our platform in a way where we spread a message beyond just the adventures and the things we Pretty do. Amazing. Actually, when people ask me what's the most memorable moment in, in my Yes Theory adventure career, it's, it is that moment we, like he just walked in, his SUV pulled up amazing. and then he, and then Justin Trudeau walks in and he just remembers who we were because we had filmed something with him few months before that, ambushing him on the street, and he still knew who we were, gave us the biggest, like, warmest hugs. Just pure, genuine guy. You're an entrepreneur. I like to think so. What's the hardest part? Wow. Um, I think I have it easy. I think I have the tribe. And I think when you are, uh, and I think this is why Venice is so popping right now, because people are feeling that they are being, getting in tune and finding their own tribes there. I feel like being an entrepreneur has been ex extremely challenging and extremely hard. And sometimes you feel like you're on your own. But the best part is about the journey for me is that I had three other people who I can share that with. And I never end up feeling I'm on my own. That's on what's journey. getting you through it. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And then income. I mean, YouTube, million subs, that's great. That doesn't mean a million dollars. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's the biggest misconception now. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. No, not at all. I mean, there's only a handful of YouTubers that really make a really good living, and they have to diversify way beyond YouTube. Absolutely. So surviving in Venice, it's not a cheap place to live. No, it's not. And But we've been... We've, we've surrounded ourselves with, with very good people who gave us very valuable advice in, in regards to how to approach the business side of of YouTube and of just what we do in general. So we have different streams of revenue, whether that's the, our product line or other projects that we take on just as creative consultants or YouTube itself and the brand deals. And given how global the concept of the S theory is, it's been easier for us to work with brands because it's just very advertiser friendly. So we're able to generate a lot of revenue through brand deals. And, and I mean, it's still nowhere near where it would be like fully sustaining a full house with a crew of seven working day and night. Uh, but we will get there, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll get there and we're having fun doing it. What, what, what does it look like when you get to a million compared to when you got to 100,000? Big difference? Or does it just seem like you're on that, that path? Because uh, you celebrate when you got 100,000, right? Yeah. I actually, the only celebrations I remember are 1,000 and 20,000 and then, and then a million. Because 20,000 were in London and 1,000 was just like, wow, this is crazy. There's 1,000 people watching us. <laughs> and I remember being so mind blown because YouTube was never like in the plans for me. I never wanted to do YouTube. It was never something I was meant to do almost. Um, but then all of a sudden, like a month after meeting these guys, we have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Now, you on a personal level, uh, you have something that nobody else in the entire world has. Yeah, I have the Egyptian government's permission to climb the last standing wonder of the ancient world, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Which you haven't done yet. Which I have not done yet because um, I got extremely unlucky and unfortunate with um, my time of departure 
when I was actually meant to do the climb and when I packed my bags and packed my gear and headed to the pyramid to actually do it, uh, the head of security there had <laughs> sworn over his mom's grave that he would not let me in even if I got every permission that I needed just because out of ego it was just a game of egos at this point that's all it is and but you still have it right you yeah, yeah still I still it. I still have the document signed by both ministers minister of tourism minister of antiquities homeland security uh, military uh, the military police and and the ministry of defense so it's like, amazing yeah just you just me like no just one you. no one has ever and, and I and when I went back last time I even confirmed because I was afraid that oh, someone else is gonna you know no I'm saying get, can you bring friends can I bring friends uh, I don't think so oh. yeah they definitely okay <laughs> couple more things uh, you're fairly new in Los Angeles what here is not what you thought would be does that make sense what I'm asking yeah like we, what preconceived notion of LA did you think it was gonna be and it's not or the other way around it's totally what you didn't expect I think when you arrive in LA, you just realize that there is a, there is a lot of nice people, and then you, th you think about it a little bit, and then you realize that being nice is actually a lot easier than being kind, and you don't end up really running into a lot of kind people, unfortunately, because mm -hmm. kindness takes comes from effort. a more like yeah, it's a lot of effort and it's not even effort, it comes from like a pure place in the heart. It's genuine. But being nice, anyone can pretend to be nice, and I think making that. Uh, differentiation between both has been very instrumental to making sure who I'm surrounding myself with because yeah. as an engine that drives three pieces of content a week which is like three full adventures where uh, you know our friendship is put it put on full blast on the screen we our most valuable commodity is our energy so that's the thing that we protect the most you can't yeah yeah we can be around the wrong person we can be around the wrong vibes people want to hunt you down best place to go is uh, Instagram, that's sort of like... That's it? The, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yesterday on Instagram? Yeah, yesterday on Instagram. Like, the DMs have been crazy over the past couple of days, but, but we... go there, we, which will help you discover the journey and things you're doing. Oh, oh you're saying... Okay, you, I mean, definitely YouTube. YouTube, like, YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Yes Theory, go there, subscribe. Omar, I think... If you go to Yes Theory and search how we met, that, that will sort of give you the story of... It's all there. Uh, yeah. I really appreciate hanging out with us. Absolutely. This is great. This is so Celebrate spontaneous. Celebrate with them. One million. Now it's beyond that. But be, if you haven't heard of them, subscribe. Be part of their tribe and help them along the path of their journey. Thank Thanks you, Thanks a lot, Ken. buddy. Absolutely. Voice of Disruption. We have a lot going on. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. We'll be back. Thank you.